Hello, Juan Carlos, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Great. Fantastic. Well. Good to see you. Yes. So, um, the um, volcano seems to have stopped now. No activity since the 14th of December, to my understanding. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, well, actually, the eruption maybe has stopped in the 13th, early, mor early morning. Okay. But these people, um, I think they are right. They are trying to uh, prolong the they are accepting that the eruption has completely finished because they have the responsibility to take care of the people of the of the people. Yes. So it's, it's kind of bureaucratic or administrative. They have they are going to wait for 10 days more. So it will coincide with the 24th of December to declare officially the, the death of the volcano. Somebody asked me, why is it 10 days waiting period? And I personally said, it could be 12, it could be 14, but then I did the numbers and I counted, oh, it's gonna be Christmas day. So <laughs> I think that's the trick here. <laughs> and I have the idea that maybe they can call the volcano the Christmas volcano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. So no, I mean, first of all, I think it's delightful. Well, the news. new, yes, exactly. Yeah. It's wonderful news that the volcano has stopped, that oh, yeah. uh, this is a big uh, kind of relief for the people of La Palma. I also hear the first people are allowed back into their houses. Is that correct? Yeah. The only That's... problem now, the only problem now is that uh, there is a lot of gas still. The, the lavas uh, are degassing and yes. the CO2 is concentrating in the lower part because it's heavier than the, the yes, air. CO and and, uh, yes, CO and, yes. It's an ananoxic atmosphere and this can be uh, dangerous for yes, the people. Yes, you can and have these why, gas traps. Exactly, the gas traps. So it's particularly in the lower part, in the, in the older uh, platform, coastal platform, in Puerto Naos, La Bombilla, etc. So this is going to be a risk for at least a month or two. Yes. And that's why they, uh, they still keep some exclusion zones. But in the, in the places where they, where they are open, they are, people are returning to their houses and they are very happy, actually. Particularly there where the wind is blowing through. Exactly. Assume, exactly. So the first uh, people are going back. So that, that's great news. I'm delighted. So also earthquakes have gone down a lot, I understand. It's very limited earthquake activity. Yes, and particularly tremor. Tremor has uh, closed. I mean, it's finished. So no, very little kind of new gas coming out of the main vent. But of course, the lava that's there is still degassing. That's, that's, yes, uh, that's sure. Uh, tremor has gone down. Volume eruption material has gone down. There is no explosions, no lava. So and this no, is not recharged thing. anymore. So. What about the well, uplift? Is there any change in uh, in surface uh, altitude? Yeah, a small, a small inflation the, the, a few days ago, but has come to normal again, I think. Okay, so nothing but, uh, overly critical there yeah, either. People have to get used to the idea that the, this manifestation will be will continue for several months. I oh mean, yeah. Uh, water vapor when the rain when it's rained it will be plumes of, uh, water, of water vapor. But that doesn't mean that the eruption is uh, reactivating. That means only that the, the lava is cooling, yes. slowly cooling. Because I heard that there was a little explosion inside the crater just uh, two days ago, and people yeah. were worried that it might come back, that the volcano is waking up. But my first response was, what was the weather like? And uh, exactly. as you say, I mean, it was a little bit of rain and it seems that it was just water vapor. It was steam effectively that poofed a out. Magmatic, a yes. phreatic eruption, a not phreatic, even magmatic, yes. a phreatic eruption, just water uh, steam eruption effectively, a steam yes. explosion. And that is not to say that the volcano is coming back. It's just that water entered into the vent and there, of course, we have some warm rocks, of course. I oh, mean, sure. uh, they're still warm and the lava flows itself where they are very thick. They it's will- It's exactly the, the same when you try to to cut off a, a bonfire with a, with, with a, a water, you get an explosion. 
But if you put too little water on it, it's like a drop of water on a hot rock. It goes exactly. <laughs> so it indeed, down. I mean, okay. it's the uh, in science it's discussed as the ratio between uh, liquid and coolant. Uh, sorry, uh, a heat, uh, a magma or heat source and coolant. And if there is a, a dominance of the heat source and uh, inferior amount of coolant, then you get this explosion. If of course the coolant is uh, volumetrically uh, dominant, yeah. then it will cool the whole thing down. If you throw one lava yeah, rock into exactly. an ocean, it's over very quickly for the lava rock. But um, and that's why the, the plinian friato magmatic uh, erosion are so important because the fractionation of the of the lava makes more surface in contact, hot surface in contact with the coolant. And yes. that's why it's more effective. I agree. So what other risks are there? There is a very uh, little ash fall now because there is no ash emission. What about the particle density in the air? Has that improved as well? Absolutely <laughs> down. The, 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 the air is clear, is, is clean now in the, in the valley. Like so a the only thing spring is morning in the Alps. <laughs> exactly. The gas scene is the only problem. Yes, and there's no Kalima, there's no winds from Africa or so that pick up a lot of uh, fine particles right now either, I hope. No, not now, because actually we have a uh, rain, heavy rain in, in the western part of the Canaries, particularly in La Palma. So this will also help to clean the, the streets and the wash out from the, the fines, exactly. which is very from good the, actually. The That's lapid. what we need. Yeah. Yes, yeah. This sounds superb. I'm really delighted. So I guess uh, the big realization from all these is that uh, the eruption was quite big. It was longer than any of the historical eruptions. It erupted and the more. The scoremongers were wrong. <laughs> what? The scoremongers were wrong. <laughs> yes, I think this is the realization that despite the magnificence and magnitude of the eruption, um, there was no giant landslide. And that implies that the island is surprisingly stable. It can withstand a good shake and a good volcanic, a volcanic eruption, a good volcano eruption, uh, and, and no major landslides. There were some small landslides in the coastal areas at the cliffs, but you expect that. Uh, I yeah, mean, this exactly. is just uh, normal when some rocks are a little unstable, but they were tiny compared to uh, the giant landslide hypotheses that has been put forward. So I guess we have to conclude La Palma is surprisingly it's stable. stable. The last landslide was 600,000 years ago. And the Delft University people in the Netherlands made a very good job precisely defining that, the, uh, stating that the Cumbre Vieja is an unstable volcanic feature. And happens that is, this is true, this is correct. It is steep, of course, in places it is steep. It is but, it's steep, uh, but there's not, also not unstable. A steep, but it's still not unstable. There's also a lot of dikes, as we know from uh, the other volcanic ridges in the Canaries. I mean, you and I, we've been in the water tunnels, we've seen a lot of dikes. And I think uh, when you have a ridge and these dikes come in, they actually stabilize the outward push. Um, they will push themselves a little bit from the volume intrusion, but once they are yeah. solidified, they will actually be like, like nails in uh, a stack of plywood. They will it's actually hold it together. And also is, I don't know how you say in English, a, a columna vertebral, a vertebral column or whatever, a spine. Yes. As, as, so this in some kind, this is a reinforcing the, the volcanic feature. And of course, when a dike, new dikes intrude, they expand the, 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 the ridge, but the steel is, a, is, is perfectly stable. So this is not a danger. La Palma is a very safe island. Yes, and I think that's very important uh, because I got some emails from folks uh, saying, oh, they might want to move away from La Palma because it's all very kind of uh, confusing and there's worry about more eruptions. And of course, there's the imminent threat of something bigger happening. Well, first of all, no, the eruption not. didn't grow big and explosive. It was... Uh, a similar style of eruption for the entire three months of duration. There was no giant landslides. And of course, there is now a big cleanup job to be done on the island. Yeah. Lava need to be moved. We have, uh, let me check my numbers. We have uh, 2,900 buildings destroyed. 
close to 2,000 hectare of farmland and property land. We have um, uh, close to 100 kilometers of vital road systems taken exactly. out. That's the and uh, the total damage is estimated at something like 850 million euro. So it's quite a substantial thing. And there's piles of ash and lava blocking the road. So, I mean, of course, people will start using the ash to put it in cement or oh, put yeah, it on ash fields. Is very valuable and... here. With ash and cement, they, they make blocks to build houses. Yes, so, so I think the actually problem. the ash will the be... Problem, the problem, and we, and we are... I have been invited to several, how you say... I don't know how you say that. Uh, to, to start working on the reconstruction of La, La Palma and doing this with a thinking of a, yes, uh, getting a better, a better result and uh, not to hurry up and doing things, but uh, think about- A planning committee, I guess. Planning, exactly. committee, Yes, That's I mean, it. this is important because humans and all creatures are inclined to react swiftly when there's problems. But often it's paying uh, to, to take a minute longer and think about it. I think uh, using the ash in uh, construction and finding good mixtures between cement and ash and water to build the ultimate kind of uh, concrete, uh, uh, that's the way to go. And then I think you can actually make this very useful. Yeah. Of but course. So also, also preserve some of the, of the, uh, of the best uh, volcanic features. For instance, the the, the, lava, the delta the delta of lavas in the coast preserve this as to show how the the volcanism works and how enlarge the island and the importance of volcanism in these volcanic islands. Yes, and I also think that the cone itself should become a nature Absolutely. reserve and. I, I got a comment on YouTube yesterday, uh, somebody saying, oh, they should build a cable car up to the cone. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and oh I my. thought, well, they have a cable car on Tate. Eh? I would in think Tate, a lot yes. of tourists would probably buy tickets. I mean, uh, yeah. whether you agree, agree with the aesthetics of a cable car or not. I mean, I thought the idea was actually quite refined. <laughs> so, uh, well, no, no, that's <laughs> You don't good. like that? But also this volcano, this cabeza de vaca, cabeza de vaca means a uh, cow's head. Probably yeah. it's not very, I don't know. I, I well, I, I personally would think the, Christmas uh, volcano sounds better. Yeah, <laughs> the name of a conquistador. So I, I don't think that in the Canary Islands we like that name. Uh, but anyway, it's a monster volcano. It's a very big volcano with a lot of uh, different vents and it's a very aesthetic volcano, very photogenic. Yes, it's a beauty, actually. It's a beauty, exactly. So, and I think another point is that now the authorities can have a good old think about how to rebuild the road network because yes. uh, there was a, a very limited number of roads that uh, allow, uh, allowed people to travel on the western side of the Cumbri Vieja Ridge. There was yes. one main road, effectively. And yes. uh, I think that can be uh, reconsidered now. And um, there is uh, opportunities to improve the traffic system as a consequence of uh, the current crisis. It's a pity because actually they were spending a lot of money, uh, how you say, reforming the roads and making a better roads and this is all covered. But now is the time to plan from the very beginning the best communication according to the, the, the new concentrations of population because the roads are old and the, the population of the valley of Aridane has increased a lot. So now they make a better, can make a better planning. Correct. Because because anyway, they have to cut the lavas and make new roads. That's not- I agree, I agree because the last few years prior to the volcanic crisis, this road on the western side, it was always blocked. There was always yeah, a lot right. of traffic. It was yeah. not doing the job anymore. So yeah. it was actually um, insufficient because the number of people living in those areas has increased. A lot of extra uh, houses were built. Tourists have settled there. Uh, um, people who kind of uh, decided to live there. And um, a lot of retired people were buying houses there. So a, a lot a lot of higher population density that has developed there. And of course, these systems need to be adjusted. Now is a good opportunity for that. And you have to consider the possibility, of course, 
that the, a new uh, 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 future eruption can be in the apex, in the, in, the, in, the, in the top of the ridge, like 1949. And then you get a lava flow flowing to the west and another lava flow flowing to the east and I cutting know. all the communication of the island. I know you could actually cut both sides this both way, sides. and uh, both then sides. you actually have the southern part of the island being almost so isolated. isolated only by boat. Only and by this boat. is something they are thinking in the Azores that um, when you think of these long islands in the Azores, these fractured uh, Azores exactly. islands, if you have an eruption in the middle, they are making plans of how to actually evacuate people from the other end. And indeed, you need boats, you need the navy coming in with helicopters and things like that. And it's a good exercise for us to think about this because exactly. uh, well actually uh, in this occasion the navy the spanish navy already lent some uh how you say disembarked i don't know how you say boats okay yes to, to landing crafts i think yeah exactly take the people to from tasacorte to the other side of the lava flows to water to irrigate the banana plantation and all that, because it's the only way to get there. Yes, exactly. This is the issue. So there's a lot to be learned. So in the long run, um, these crises uh, come with some good, as as you know. I mean, uh, oh, course, there yeah. is nothing bad that doesn't uh, have something good in it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a it's a real, not a virtual, but a real exercise. But of course. People of Los Llanos won't one thing. This <laughs> is a costly agree exercise, with this. a, a yeah, costly learning experience. Of so, of course, nobody wishes this on anyone, uh, uh, but I think we, we need to also look forward now and yeah. we need to make the best of what it is. It is what it is. And uh, here we can take valuable lessons. And I think that's what we're trying to do here. So, this and is not the smaller. Signs. Use science, not only geology and volcanology, but also the science of planning, urbanism, all this, psychology, all this together to help these people that they deserve, actually. Yes, exactly. And to make um, the risk uh, for future events uh, for the population actually yes. lower. This is uh, the main aim here that we learn from these events. and. Uh, thinking about um, future eruptions on La Palma, but also on the other islands like Tenerife, I think yeah. we can actually make some real improvements there. Don't, we, we, we shouldn't forget that Tenerife has only two Cumbre Viejas, one in the Northeast and another in the Northwest, with a historical, the other half of the historical eruption are concentrated also in Tenerife. Correct. And of course, uh, we are not uh, dealing with a few tens of thousands of people. We are dealing with some hundreds of thousands of people. As soon as any warning of an eruption, a real eruption uh, is um, accepted in Tenerife, you have to evacuate, you have to take measures. And this is another a big issue and has to be studied in advance, program in advance, uh, in advance and instrument the island uh, perfectly. So we have to think that this can happen in, in Tenerife also. And this is a very big populated area, more than a million people living here. Oh, absolutely. We have historical eruptions in populated areas. The Arafo event, uh, 1705. Uh, the uh, Garachico eruption was affecting mm -hmm. Garachico, obviously. So 1706. And um, I mean, uh, th these are areas where people live. And now, of course, a lot more than back in 1705 and 1706. Yeah, so uh, these are things to be considered. Well, that means after Christmas, we have a big job ahead, Juan Carlos. There's a yeah. lot of work to be done, I'm, I'm afraid. Absolutely, so. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay, have a very good uh, ho uh, holidays or, wh or whatever you say, felices fiestas, we say in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, good yule, we say in Sweden here. Uh, exactly. Frohe Weihnacht in Germany exactly. and uh, a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year to you, Juan Carlos, and to your family. Thank you for making time today. Okay. And, and since uh, I am from La Rioja in Spanish, it's a good uh, wine region, <laughs> <laughs> I say have a, a couple of wine <laughs> have a good have a good glass of wine over the christmas exactly. holiday if you enjoy Absolutely. that of course so and be happy with all the family
Thank you very much. And all the very best, Juan Carlos. And let's see, hopefully COVID allows that we can go back to La Palma in January yes, and sir. have a little look and uh, take some kind of, you know, good uh, overall synthesis of things yeah. and uh, while, see where we are. While the corpse is still warm. Yes, while it's still warm, we do some uh, autopsy on the uh, on the yes. lava as far as we can. Yeah. Thank you very much. All the it's very best. Be, and uh, it's soon. going to be very interesting to see the, the, the after eruption features. I agree with you. I think it's yeah. actually very important to, to do this. So this is why I'm very keen to uh, go there with you in January when things are still warm and uh, the features are still fresh because many things will be cleaned up. A lot of the detailed impressions, a lot of the detailed um, situations that have developed with buildings, with roads, with all sorts of uh, yeah. infrastructure. Uh, many of these things will get lost very quickly now. So it's important to go there and uh, collect the information and document it as well. So we still have work to do here. Okay, anyway, and happy new year for all the people that are seeing us. Okay, yes, indeed. And of course, uh, what a relief to the, for the people of La Palma. So, yeah. all the very best, Juan Carlos. Bye-bye. 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 Okay.